want to show everyone that, that changed a little bit. And you may have saw it already on one of these. Um, if I actually go click on back on one of these companies that exist over here, you will see now when you scroll down, there is now a, a Google map that appears of the customer and where they are. Um, and you can obviously do a couple things with it. You can do the zoom out part or zoom in. You can also do the little satellite button if you want to hit the little satellite feed to see what else is going around around that customer. All right, so that's been added. Now, if you first go to a company screen and a little air window pops up from Internet Explorer saying something about script errors or mixed content, just call me and I'll fix your computer so it does it, so it doesn't have that error. And also, if you're not seeing this map, give me a call so I can log into your CRM to fix it so that you can see it because some of you might not be able to. Yeah. I'm with Michael Moore, and he says he's getting that error, so he'll call you when he gets back and gets his computer up and let you walk him through that. No problem. No problem. Pretty easy to fix. Uh, then the other part that we added to is a little bit more of the Google Map feature. And if you go up here to the CIT dashboard, you will now see there's another box here called Customer Search. And this is a request that, that one of you had. Uh, apparently in the ACT database that was in before, you could search for your customers by zip code range. So I, I kind of built off that idea a little bit, and I added three things here. Um, and we'll do this middle one here called Google Maps by City and User. So I click on that, and a window is going to pop up here, and it's going to say, it's making you fill out something. In this case, it's asking who the owner of the company is. For most of you, you only have access to your name. So you just would obviously hit the next prompt button here. And it's asking what city you want to look at. And in Warren's case, we'll do Greenville. And now it's going to actually pull up a Google map of all of Warren's customers in, uh, in Greenville. And we can do the same thing with the, uh, with the Zoom function. We can bring it all the way down. We can see a map of where his customers are. We can click on the actual little pinpoint icon, and it will bring up and tell us the address and the name of the customer. And if we scroll down, we can actually get a whole list of, of all those customers that are in there. Um, and this is obviously something you can print out. Um, we're making it, it should be done by next week, where you can click on the company name, and it will actually bring you right to the customer. So for now, this is kind of the way uh, for you to be able to pull up your customers um, in different ways. So obviously, this is Warren's one for Greenville. And as you zoom out or in, it'll show you the different pinpoints. All right. Um, I'm going to go back to the, uh, to the dashboard here in a, for one second. And I'm going to go back to the customer search function. And we also added a feature in there to do it the ACT way by Google Maps by zip code. And again, the first question comes up saying, who do you want to look at? And Warren's name comes up by default. Um, in this case now, you can do it by starting and stopping zip code range. You can pick from the list over here. And this list is pulled out of the customers you actually have in CRM right now. Um, and it's asking for a range. And you want to be pretty broad um, in picking them because it's going between these numbers. So if I start with 29600, it's not going to pull up 29600 zip codes. It'll pull up 29601. Um, and then we've got to put an, put an end range in there as well. And then I hit go. Pulls up a, a list, the same that we just viewed, but this time it's sorted by, uh, by his range of zip codes that we put in there. So it'll take it a second, but it'll, it'll display the whole thing. And it also gives us our list down below. Um, and we can always hit the, uh, the buttons here to page through the different pages, but the map won't change because the map's displaying all of the information. Tyler? Yeah. Um, this is Buddy. In mm -hmm. messing with this yesterday, I found mm -hmm. it more helpful if you are looking for customers and say 29201, instead okay. of being real broad, if you go 29201 and 29202 as your other extreme, then okay. it really narrows it down because if you look at that last map, 
you created. Yeah, you had people Anderson and Easley and all over yeah. everywhere. So it was more helpful to do sequential 01 okay. and 02, but then it narrows it down better. Yeah, I, you know, and you guys are probably better with zip codes and knowing where they're at with me. I haven't, you know, I've only lived there a couple of years. I don't know where all the zip codes are and everything, and that's why I, I did the, the city and user one just to try to help me that way. But obviously, you can be next door to somebody, and they can be in a different city as well. So um, a good tip there uh, to figure that out. And if you want to ever run a map by all your customers, you can you can pick that first option. I won't do it because there will be hundreds that will come up on there from Warren. <laughs> 